Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. It is currently Wednesday, the 14th of June. So, um, actually a year today, I'm, I had my math exam and we were on our way to um, the, the youth series. Um, that, that was a great time. Anyway, that was just, that just something just came in my brain. Uh, it's my last exam today, it's maths. Um, and I'm very nervous for it because I'm more, like like I said before, I am more confident in it, my English one than my maths, but it's a calculator paper today. Um, so yeah, I'm about to leave to college now and I will see you there because I have to be there for revision. We're going to have breakfast this morning um, and then we're going to go out, get into our exam at quarter past nine. But yeah, see you there. Bye. Have a good day. It's eight o'clock and I'm going to do my math if you can. I know that. laughing at us being a fence. Get it up. One in there. Oh. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, I always wanted one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Spider-Man. I don't know. 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 I don't <laughs> yeah. Probably, but, yeah. He's eating good. He's like, you're staring, he's like, you're staring at me, do you want a bad view? He's very muddy now. No. Don't shake. <laughs> yeah, I would stand back. <laughs> Isn't it? Where are you boys going now? Just up and down, up and down. Oh my god, yeah, it fell on the name. Hello. Can you send us Just remain calm, all right? <laughs> you just got to be calm with these things. Oh my god. Oh uh, my god. Oh my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh
guys, it's half one. And I've been to, on a little trip down to All Creatures Great All Creatures Great and Small this afternoon. Um it's an unexpected little trip. That was very nice. Um and I just got back now. I got two more classes today, I think. No, two to three classes left. I finished up like half four, quarter five. Anyway, going to All Creatures Great and Small was very lovely seeing all the animals and I had a very good time. Just got a few drinks now because I'm not really boiling and uh, it's 26 degrees today. But uh gotta keep hydrated in this weather. But I hope you had a good day. I had my exam this morning, it was harder than last week, but I tried my best. Hope you thought yours went well. Hi guys! Maddie, what time is it please? 7.03. It's three minutes past seven. I am currently um, just going to basically explain everything I've done today. So I came back here um, to the house at about quarter to six. Um, I met, after college, I met Naomi and a friend um, in Cumberland Town. We suddenly just spoke and just waited until they went home. And seen them for a little while. Um, then I came back here. We just had food, we just had some dinner. We had some and chips, it was very lovely. Um, but anyway, today's been great. Um, I did my last maths exam. I don't think it went as well as my first. It was, even though it was a calculate paper, sometimes it's going, it's quite hard. Um, because you have to know the the method and like how you like lay it out and um and all thoughts like that but then after my exam um after my exam i saw okay and she asked how my exam was and then she she asked if i wanted to go to all creatures great and small with little two business so that was really lovely and i actually enjoyed seeing all the animals there it was really nice um, it was quite like sad seeing cat with no ears. There was a cat with no ears there, and um, which was pretty sad. There was two. We seen a few dogs. We seen cats, pigs, goats, um, chickens. That um, I kind of ran from the chickens um, because they were going behind me. We're gonna forget about that bit. Um, so but yeah apart from that it was really lovely thank you for taking me again um it was just an unexpected little trip that i went on with them um a little time out and it was really nice it was a beautiful day today as well it's absolutely boiling it's about 25 26 degrees now um i'm really looking forward to it for tomorrow though because tomorrow i'm with my class um in Kelly's class we're actually doing um fundraising for Turkey and Syria and we've bought a load of little snacky bits like cupcakes little marshmallows to put on top of the cakes um a few little sweet we're gonna do sweet bags for everyone we're gonna be selling them um and everything um like that and it's gonna be so much fun um we've been um, preparing for this for a while and now we're going to be doing the bake sale for everyone to buy and um it's just going to be amazing and so much fun to do uh, in the class we're doing that all day tomorrow um i think it's our yeah it's our last day in for kelly's lesson um tomorrow because next Thursday, a week tomorrow, the 22nd of June, we are actually going on a trip for our last day um, to an escape room and then we can go around Cardiff afterwards, um, which I'm looking forward to, but then obviously it's going to be our last day, which is going to be sad. Um, but it's okay because I, just, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but um i know i'm going to be going back next year but yeah it's gonna be okay um i need to 
get a present for my tutor um to just say thank you uh for everything and um and stuff like that and for um jenny and rian and things like that to say thank you for helping me through this year um i wouldn't have been able to do it without them and all their support um but anyway i'm going to get ready for even though it's like seven o'clock seven o'clock ish i'm gonna end my pajamas because i'm really warm um last night i couldn't sleep so point this minute it's actually incredibly hot and uh i was up and down up and down all night I don't know, it's just funny how I explain it. But anyway, yeah. I Tomorrow I'm going to be probably wearing... I'm going to be wearing these Nike... My Nike Pro shorts tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to probably either this top with them or in this top right here. Um, another thing I'm going to show you is this morning when I went to my mass revision, I didn't do that much, but I did write a few things down to remember over before the exam this morning. So here is my GCSE maths revision crib sheet, it's called, and it's like things you really need to remember, like prime numbers, multiple facts, factors divided um, exactly into numbers, square numbers, cube numbers, multiplied indices, Dividing indices, sum means add, difference means subtract, um, product means sub, um, pr product means uh, multiply, um, and then it says like A2 plus B2 equals C2, so things like that don't get at all, I really don't get that. Perimeters, perimeter of a circle is a conference and is um, calculated into calculated using the formula um, something times d. Area is a space into a side shape. So I know that if angles on a straight line is one hundred and eighty degrees, and angles on a, like angles in a circle is 360 degrees an acute angle is 90 degrees um i'm pretty sure so that's what i was just reading out um and it says things at the back about like um different angle points and uh volumes of print stuff like that um mean medium I was thinking so much, right, what the median was. So there was, a question, there was a question on the median. And I was thinking, what do I do? I was thinking... Oh, I always get the, mode, yeah. medium and range mixed up. I was like, well, mode means what occurs the most. Yeah, I assume you want to know. The range is something different. Median, I thought, well, I thought the range, right? The median's the <laughs> number in the middle. Yeah, so I thought that the range was the one where you had to circle and find the middle number. That's median. Right, so the I was thinking, like all of what do I do? So what I did is I put them in, I put each number in order, then I found the middle number. What, for range? For median. No, we're not for the range, when it was only a median one. So it looks like I did that right actually because it says medium put all the data values in order smallest first well I did that the median is is the middle value so the middle number if there are two numbers valued then we add them uh, and divide by two it wasn't. yeah I did that right well, that's a sh oh surprising for me then I had this one here um sending you like uh, it says here what's the square root of 49 which is seven um because seven times seven is 49 i know that the square root of 144 is 12 um yeah, that's just showing you how to work things out on the calculator and like that um in this book here 
I added to my 25th birthday and then just started using it to it's a smile all down it. Anyway, I'm gonna be reading out my prime numbers, square numbers, and cube numbers. Now my square num prime numbers, Maddie, do you know your prime numbers? Who's got prime? No, <laughs> no one's got prime, Maddie. Listen up now. This is your turn to show everyone what your maths is like. What do you want to know? What is your prime numbers? Prime number? Yes. What's like, your... a number bigger than one. Maddie, look like... you need to list your prime numbers. Two. No. Three, five. Oh, I don't. No, wait. Hang on, no. It may be right, actually, because I haven't got all of them down here, but I've got from from five. That's my starting point. How many from five? Two, three, four, five, six, six, eight. Five. Yep. Seven. Yep. Eleven. Yep. Thirteen. Yep. Seventeen. Yes. Nineteen. Yes. 23. Yep. 29. Wow, done. Oh my god. Now, square numbers. Do you know your square numbers? <sighs> Which is so hot. Um, why are you asking me these exactly? Because um, I don't need to know this. Yes, but one day when you do your exams, you will know them. Am I supposed to be asking you this? <laughs> Not ex no, because I've done my exams. And squares are 1, yep. 4, yeah. 9, 16. Yes. And that's all, I know. <laughs> 25, 36, 49, 64. Yeah, because you're 81, reading on top of a book. Alright, Maddie. Right. No, no, Maddie. I don't know my bloody prime. What's your prime numbers? 2, 4. No. It's from 5. <laughs> 5, 7, 11, 13. 17, is that right? 17, 19, 27, no, lower, 21, higher, 23, yeah, and 29, no, 27, no, 25, no, 9, I just, <laughs> I'm gonna kill no. Cube numbers are um, 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. Who are you reading off a book? That's the point, because I'm showing That's them. That's the point, because if you're in an exam, you can't just say, let me whip out my book. I wanted to take it into the exam, but I weren't allowed. Of course, obviously. Because you're cheating. What do you do if I just... Da Maddie. <laughs> it stayed. Wait, just a bit more. Money! Majestic. Watermelon toothpaste. Sponsored by High, High Smile. Smile. Not his, an ad. Or His Smile. Who's <laughs> snapping me so much? I don't know, Maddie. For God's sake, like this. Anyway. <laughs> so, High Smile is a toothpaste, lovely toothpaste that is full of watermelon they have different flavors not an ad um different flavors this is a watermelon one and i've been using it now for roughly about a week um and it's got 60 grams of um of toothpaste in it and it's watermelon then i've currently got the color correcting serum this actually makes your teeth purple if you have this then don't swallow it. I wouldn't recommend it. Didn't do it myself, but um, high smile color corrector. This actually comes out purple on your toothbrush, and when you finish with your brush and your teeth, basically you put this on for obviously two minutes. When you brush your teeth, you do it with two minutes anyway. But then with the color corrector, you put you actually brush your teeth for thirty seconds and you have to swill your mouth out straight away with water and you must swallow it you have to like literally get water and just literally 
get all the purple off your teeth and then spit it out as normal but uh yeah i have i have the color corrector and i also have the high smile toothpaste um i also at home i have the um the whitening pen as well so i have the whole set here um yeah it seems to be okay um i haven't been using it long enough to, for it to work but anyway it's a nice flavor recommend you getting it and i'm gonna shut it now <sighs> i'm gonna get into my pajamas and everything but i'm gonna end my video as i've had a really good day today are you ready ready If you did enjoy this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for more videos just like this one. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh,